Alright guys, so let me show you what I have so far with the new features. So I'm just going to hit play on this video and show you some of the results. So I show you that I could draw on the previous video. I'm doing this so that I can show you how the text looks like when we place it on the environment. I'm also going to go and try to apply a motion. So I'm selecting a motion now. And I did a Z motion and also change the speed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to focus on the text. So I did a lot of changes on the text features. And now I can walk back and the text will basically stay in place. And one of the cool things is I can change the mode. So in this mode, I'm looking at motion. So I can, I can actually drag text and then move text around. I can also change the, the text size, which was one thing that I had a lot of problems with. Because the way that it works is I have to apply also create a box collider in real time and as soon as I change the font size I need to regenerate the box collider so that I can actually select the text so I'm just doing more selection here and then just changing the font the font was also pretty fun to do and, and as you can see I'm using text mesh pro and the text is just really clear when you when you use the utility that is now part of unity and then you know changing some more text here with with different examples Another thing that is really cool is the way that I implement it is as soon as you make a change to the text, the text is changing in AR. So I think that's something that I haven't seen yet. It just adds a lot of you know details to the AR experience. And then in this case, I'm saying, okay, you know, you need to fix this panel because you could use this application to you know to direct somebody about you know something that needs to be fixed. And and perhaps you know in the next version, what I'll do is I'll have a way to stream this so that the other person on the other side can connect and can also see what you are describing. So just different, you know, different experiments that I'm building. So what I want to do today is I want to focus on something specific and it, and it is the text. I'm going to show you how it works on the UI and then I'll probably wrap it up and then just keep it very specific in this case. So let's go ahead and hit play and I'm going to show you that everything works in the editor just like it does in in the actual AR experience. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do exactly what I did before. Just, you know, draw a couple of things here. Maybe we'll just draw a, another star. And I can show you that if I go here, I have an issue with the motion panel for some reason the first time, but we'll fix that later. And then, you know, if I select the motion here, I can do that. So same experience, if I increment the speed, I can also do that. I can also go here and I want to change the brush size and this brush size still work in progress. I still need to fix a few things in there. Also, you know, I can also change the color just like I showed you before. So we can do something like that and, and I can also move them around, you know, just like I just like I did before. So let's go ahead and look at the text, which is the feature that we are focusing on today. So what I can do now is I can add text here, I can add text here, I can add text here. I basically can add text a lot of times and and as you can see, I'm creating a ray cast. So if we go here, you can see these rays coming out of the camera. The reason why I do those rays is because I am trying to find out if I have an item on the way. If I have an item of type text on the way, I'm gonna select it. In this case, I'm just placing them, but in the case of the hand, and this is a change to the UI as well, I can, you know, I can do a ray cast here. So if I select it, I'm gonna do a ray cast. The ray cast collides with the text. So, so there, therefore I can move it around. So I can do that, I can move it around. And the other cool thing about this feature is I can say, okay, you know what? I want to change the text from the last selected item. So I wanna make it a smaller, I can make it a smaller. I want to change the size, the actual font style. I can do that. If I want to select another one, I can go back and then just select another one. And in this case, I say that I want to, let's say that I want to select this one, right? And then just change that one. I can make it very big and then I can also change you know the font if I wanted to and you know basically that allows me to to also move it around and, and everything works as I move it around because the like I said the collider is getting regenerated I can move this out of the way I can move that one out of the way I can still go back into my into my painting and then let me just do that one more time and then let's say that I and I have an issue that I think I need to fix because right now I draw but I can't really go into the grabbing mode unless I draw something so I'm gonna be fixing that next but you know you get the idea I can move things around here I can move that around 
and I have a lot of bugs that I need to fix. I'm not gonna keep. I'm not gonna be kidding you, but I think you know overall I'm really happy. I think the UI it's more consistent. So if I'm going into drawing mode right now, it's select is is grabbing mode, which means I can grab items. If I want to go back into a mode where I'm actually you know drawing, I can just click on it, and that wasn't how I actually do it. I can. So if I go into a grabbing mode, I can do that. If I want to go back, I can do that. And then now I can draw again. If I want to grab, I can go back. So there's a few things I still need to, that I still need to fix. And I'm noticing that right now as I'm showing you. But this gives you an idea of what I, you know, what I work on. I'm gonna keep it simple today because I, I think I just wanted to focus on showing you the text functionality. In the next video, I'm gonna show you some of the code and how it works. But for now, let's just keep it simple as it is. And if you guys have any questions about anything that I just mentioned, please let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for your time.